question before we start the video. Do you play Roblox? Yes. Do you like gotcha? I assume that you do because you wouldn't click on this video in the first place. Since you're a fan of both, this game is definitely for you. This video is brought to you by Gotcha Online, a 2D RPG game that's based on Gotcha Life and Gotcha Club. Create and show off your Gotcha OCs to your friends and other players, and get to meet people who have the same love for Gotcha and Roblox. There's actually a new update in the game called Home Designer, where you can build and customize your own home. Pretty cool if you ask me. If you're interested in playing the game, the link is in the description. But before you get on that, watch this video first, and then you can play the game. <laughs> okay, let's get on with the video. Ah, oh, crushes. We've all had one in our lives. Maybe even two or three. Could be even more, you massive simp. Some of us had crushes on celebrities, non-fictional characters, you're probably one of them. And or somebody who is close to you. Could be a friend, your schoolmate, your neighbor, maybe even your kindergarten teacher when you were young. So it's definitely normal to feel this way. Unless it becomes something else. Now, as a kid, I was neither keen to the idea of having crushes, nor was I keen to the idea of having somebody who feels that way towards me. Why? Because while everyone else is crushing on somebody, I was just literally daydreaming trying to be a Disney princess somewhere. <laughs> Basically, I was stuck in my own world, so it was really not a big deal for me. Until this person came into my life. Now, I don't want to call him out, so I'm just gonna call him... E because he really reminds me of that meme. Now, E was one of the... I don't want to give him this label, but he was one of the weird kids because of how he stares at me all of the time. His eyes were always locked on me, and whenever I would gaze at him, he would just start winking and throw flying kisses at me. Like, dude, what the heck? Stop, we're in the middle of class. Please leave me alone. Every flag ceremony, every class, every break time, every dismissal, I just feel like I was being watched. He was there lurking in the background trying to muster up the courage to talk to me. And whenever he does try to strike up a friendly conversation, he would always, always lean in to kiss me. God knows how many times I slapped and pushed him for those. Thankfully, because of my reflexes, most of his attempts flopped. Why did I say most and not all? Well, unfortunately, there were two instances where he succeeded. The first one was against my own will, because believe it or not, a teacher was involved. This happened at around third grade, if I'm not mistaken. We were having a recitation activity where it was boys versus girls. Whichever team gets the most answers correct, they will have plus five points for the upcoming quiz at that time. The losing team won't get any points and will have a fun punishment. Whatever the heck that meant because it was certainly not fun. And as you could probably tell, the very competitive boys won the activity. To me, it wasn't really a big deal losing because I was acing that subject anyway. What was a big deal for us girls was the punishment. E gets to kiss all of the girls! Ding ding ding! Jackpot for him! <laughs> Quick side note, he was only able to kiss the girls on the cheek or on the head. That's it. Not on the lips. Just to be clear. The boys were cheering him on and us girls were just freaking the heck out. I never wanted to be kissed by anyone else except for my family. So, while he was skipping merrily kissing the girls one by one, I took the time to tuck my head through my uniform so I was practically facing my chest and he was only able to kiss me on the back of my head, which still counts. My younger self chose to look stupid than getting a kiss from him, which I'm pretty proud of. The second attempt was the one that triggered me the most. Now this happened at fourth grade when we were having a little mini trip for an activity. It was an event outside the school, so some of the kids weren't really allowed by their parents to participate. And E was actually one of them. So in my mind, I was like, yes, I don't have to deal with him for a day. I will be the one skipping merrily this time. So me and my best friend at the time did skip merrily towards the bus and enjoyed the whole trip. At the end of the day, we returned back to school, got off the bus, and we were waiting for our parents to pick us up. So me and my best friend decided to take a stroll on the school grounds while waiting. We were talking and talking, and who did we see on the way? E himself. Boy, my excitement was actually just about to wear down. 
He waved and came up to us to talk about something. After what he tried to do a couple of times to me, we didn't really want to talk to him, but he promised that it was important. So I gave him the benefit of the doubt and decided to listen. But that was a big mistake. So then he was whispering something to me, and the only phrase that I understood was, I love you. And before I could even react, he took advantage of that moment and decided to kiss me right there on my cheek. Then he ran off. I was frozen at that moment. I dashed off to the washroom immediately, and I was washing my face for a whole 20 minutes non-stop. That's how affected I was. I was actually crying when I got into the car. My mom was wondering why, and I told her about what happened, and she was just like laughing at it. Oh my gosh, you got your first kiss. You're gonna get pregnant. <laughs> Obviously, I don't consider that as my first kiss, but that is probably one of the reasons why I don't want to get it yet. Hey guys, Siege here. I'm so sorry that this video got a little bit delayed. I was supposed to upload it last week, but my internet connection wasn't really cooperating with me, so I had to delay it a little bit. But honestly, I think you guys already know me when it comes to delaying videos. <laughs> but I hope this was worth the wait. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below on what story time I should do next, and don't forget to subscribe and turn that bell on, ring a ding ding, so that you won't miss any video from this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Do support Gotcha Online, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay amazing and God bless. Siege out.